Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner and welcome, hold on, how much Crafty Corner do you have? <laughs> welcome to my July to December 2021 aka holiday catalog unboxing. Yay! I'm so excited Oh, and I really had to restrain myself. All I did was open all the packages. I have not pulled out the DSP to look at it. I am super excited to look at it. I'm gonna refresh my computer and uh, we are gonna get started. So I want you to look at this um, as like a resource, uh, a resource for making your holiday uh, crafting shopping list. There I am. Oh, and I have friends. I know I'm gonna have a lot of demo friends on here. So um, now remember, we can't all like the same thing, right? Which is why there's a whole catalog of things. I didn't buy everything. I do have a second list um, that I'll get in a couple weeks. Um, and I think I only forgot one thing that I meant to buy. And then um, one of the papers I wanted, and I wanted to get that whole bundle, it wasn't available. So I decided to wait um, and see if it's available. And then I'll just buy it all at once. It was a fall, um, a fall thing. Hey, Randy. So I expedited because uh, next Wednesday my house is getting painted and it's going to be crazy town over here. I need to spend the weekend and Monday and Tuesday um, moving things. I have a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of shelves. They have to move. So I do have to empty some of the stuff off of them. So anyway, that's why I, and I want to be able to show you today and I want to be able to play with it a little bit. So. Let me see if I can do this. I'm also going to try to get fancy with using um, this video switcher app. So we will see if I can follow my own thing. So we're going to look here at my desk and I'm going to show you my desk. Yay! Did you see that cute little transition? I thought that was pretty, pretty special. And then, um, there we go. And then, yay! You can see me too. All right. Hmm. I'd like it to be a little lower, but I'm not going to move it right now because I know I'll mess it up. So anyway, we have the new catalog. I cannot show you the inside. And do you know that I'm just super looking forward? I thought I was going to have enough time to set up and look at it, but I didn't. And I am super looking forward to like just sitting this afternoon. I know I got work to do, but I'm going to take a little half hour, a little cup of tea, which if you're watching this on replay, oh, you should totally just get your warm beverage, get your snack um, <laughs> yay, Randy, Randy, it's got, I wanted to figure this out forever and it's just a matter of clicking the buttons in the right order. Um, you know, I'm challenged that way sometimes. So anyway, but I want, I was like, gosh, I'm gonna be so excited. How will they know I'm excited? You can hear it in my voice, but I was like, you got to see it in my face. Okay. The other thing we have is a celebration brochure. So a lot of the things I got here are free. When we talk stamping up coordination, you're going to be like, oh my goodness. And a lot of it is free with a qualifying purchase. So with each 50 or hundred dollars, you, you earn free stuff. And then I got new little brochures. Cause if you're thinking, gosh, Audra, I want my catalog now. I want to look at it now. I want to buy it right now. Um, you should join my team. So if you're interested and you want to join my team brochure, let me know. And then, you know, you can totally 100% shop our current, um, uh, catalog. Let's see if I put this out of the way. I may possibly have to look something up in this. So let me see. You know what? I don't know where I'm going to put them. I've run out of space here. I'll put them on this side. Um, if you uh, need Christmas right now and you're not a demonstrator, we have a nice little selection of holiday things. Um, super cute. Okay. But we just have to get started. So this video doesn't take 100 hours. Um, and remember, it's a resource. You can fast forward. You can do what is right for you. Um, if you don't like all of my choices, you know, you don't have to tell me. Um, I mean, you can tell me a little, but be nice. And you're going to find from other demos, there's going to be other things you like. And like I said, I also, I have a couple sweets I did not get yet. Okay, I guess I'm throwing that on the floor. All right, so I'm going to start with, and you're, Nadine, hopefully <laughs> you're not dying. I have a lot of favorites, and I don't even know exactly what my favorites are yet. But I'm going to start with something that uh, really called to me. And this sweet is called... See, this is why I need the catalog. <laughs> this suite is called, I think it's Whimsy and Wonder. Let me see if I can find it here. And I like it because it is less traditional colors. Doesn't mean I don't like traditional colors. You're going to see a lot of traditional colors in a second. Um, but I like, oh my gosh, I can't find the page. Here we go. Whimsy and Wonder. So this is a little... It's not a giant suite. There's a stamp set with dies, and I'll open those up. This, oh, 
my gosh, you guys. This pink ribbon, what color is it? It's Blushing Bride. That is one of the best colors ever. It's soft, it's got the little frayed edges. I think we had a, um, a blue ribbon like this before. It will tie great bows, it will tie great knots. Um, I kinda like it. I'm not the hugest fan of shabby chic or distress, or maybe I am, and I just can't know it, I don't know. But it feels really nice. Um, so you're gonna definitely want that ribbon. And this ribbon, you could use it on baby cards. It doesn't have to be a holiday card. Uh, let's look at the stamp set. So this is a red rubber stamp set. This is how I store mine. Um, there are two trees, it looks like. Two trees. Oh, no, three trees. There's a little tree. There are dots you can put on your big tree. Little ornaments. Oh, one of my most favorite things is holly leaves and berries. Look at that cute little joy. A couple sentiments. Um, it's just a great little set. Let's take a look at the die. So I did take the outside package off, but I did not open the inside. So let's see what they look like. Because Stampin' Up! is getting pretty fancy. Ooh, there's two cards of dies. They're getting pretty fancy with their dies that quite often they do other things. Like, look at this. This is a stitching garland. Oh, look at this cute little pointy, oh my gosh, little tree on a stick. I don't know why, but that's super. Oh, there's two of them. Look. Oh my gosh, can you picture just a cute little card with those two little die cuts out and, and just a, a pretty sentiment. Oh my gosh, that's super easy. Oh, that'll definitely be in a to-go class. And look, this is just a die that cuts this out. There are stars and there are ornaments. Oh my goodness. And this will cut out the, um, the ornament stamp. Hey, Jill, good morning. Um, oh my gosh, okay, so these are gonna be super, super fun. And then in the suite, I am gonna attempt to put the, like at least this much away. There are these beautiful snowflakes and look how they kind of match the snowflakes. Oh, it's shiny paper. They match the shiny paper. So how many, you get 24 snowflakes. So my guess is well, there are six, there's four sheets of those. And ooh, they're pearly for sure. Let's see if I can just pull out one. Oh, look at that. And ooh, and then you'll just carefully punch that out and you will have a beautiful little, well, actually medium sized little snowflake. Look at that. Oh, and don't worry, I will definitely do product spotlights um, as the month progresses. And you know I will show you this one in extensive amounts. And then, all right, oops, look at that. I'm messing up everything. Let's look at the paper. I really wanted to like pull the papers out, but I was like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Show them the papers. Okay, oh, it's so pretty. It is called Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Designer Series Paper because it has, it has sparkle. So much sparkle. Oh, I do like a little sparkle. All right, so let's do it this way. We'll let the backs be a surprise. So you have this beautiful blushing bride. Oh, look at that. That is so, that has silver sparkle, the little holly and berries. Look at those trees. How cute are they? That's cute. I wonder, I bet the dyes might cut those out, but I'll explore that later. Otherwise, this video will be 20 hours. Oh, look at the presents. Oh my goodness. All right, and if you're a demo or a customer and you like this, um, save the date. August, I think it's August 28th. Um, we are doing a Maryland Stampers um, online craft retreat, and you get swag. You will get this in your goodie box, and you get all the projects ready. It's a stamp-along kind of, kind of event versus the one I'm doing in July, which is more of a resource. Oh, look at those ornaments. The, oh, look at the little pink deer. Oh, super cute. Little roses. All right, ready? Let's flip it over. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that is a neat palette of colors together. Totally love this. Look, it's a little distressed. Same thing on the green. Uh, there's your slightly more traditional. It's got the pink for the dots. <gasps> Look at that, I love it. And then this one has little trees and I'm guessing that this is Misty Moonlight. Yes, Misty Moonlight. Okay, so there's the paper. Put whimsy and wonder on your list. Um, I feel just a hair, not a ton, but just a hair, I feel a little bit of the Grinch, like um, the Cindy Lou Who kind of village on that. Okay, there's going to be a giant pile on the floor. 
Yes, Arlene, it is so sparkly. Hi, Pam. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Okay, so next, let's go with this little pile. These are all things that don't, and there might be more. They don't have like a sweet, but they were definitely high on my list. So first up, and I wonder, um, I'll have to ask my son, um, or some other musician might know, in a, a music embossing folder. I think that's so great for like, um, especially when you're doing those um, fun cards to just emboss in that. And I don't know what song it is, but I know someone will, will know. That is very cool. This was kind of one of the last, you know, every once in a while I'm throwing something in at the last minute. I like this big background stamp. Stamp this in Real Red, Cherry Cobbler, Blushing Bride, um, whatever, Shaded Spruce, right? Um, stamp this in a color, add a ribbon, add a little circle with a greeting, and you are good to go. This is great for making a lot, um, and I think put it in your stamparatus. Um, and then you can um, have that. So, yes, very cool. And speaking of sentiment sets, there were a couple that were super high on my list. This one is, oh, let's do it this way, is probably one of the highest. Wishing you love, joy, and happiness this coming year. Oh, so pretty. Let it snow. Warm Christmas wishes. You warm my heart. And look at that cute little joyful season. Add a little circle die and you are good to go. Which, okay, so it's a red rubber, which is excellent because you could color with your stamp and write markers, you could color these and get multiple colors on one stamp. And I've showed you guys how to do that. That is very fun. <laughs> Good, I'm glad I'm helping people's lists. I totally am. And I probably can't see all of the comments. My next thing to learn on Switcher is how to get the comments at the front, like right where your eyes are. Um, but I figured I should go baby steps. It took me a while to, I had to ask my husband to help me figure this out. I was like, dude, I'm clicking all the buttons and I can't get it right. Um, this is another one high on my list, a, um, red rubber. Look at that. How pretty is that? Merry Christmas, happiest holidays, much gratitude, sending love, cheers. Ooh, and a happy new year from our, f oh, so like it's a, co they go together. Merry Christmas to you and yours, or cheers this wondrous season. Um, sending love and heartfelt wishes. Oh, oh, that is really pretty. That is super pretty. Okay. That'll get a lot of use. All right, next up, <laughs> good morning, hi, Lisa. Um, okay, so I like religious stamp sets. I do. I'm not the most religious person. I'm not like anti-religious, but um, I don't usually use them a lot in my crafting because that way I don't have to worry who I'm sending it to. But these wise men spoke to me, although then I asked my daughter. She is a classics major, and... I'm, we're not going to have a religious discussion, but I asked her, I said, so do you think the wise men really came? She's like, mom, probably not. Um, you know, in, unless there was some crazy, super divine thing that really happened. She's like, probably not. But we agreed that it was a super cute stamp set. Um, sending peace and joy to you. So even if you, good tidings of great joy. So even if you don't want a bunch of super religious things, there are some great, um, I will use those a lot. And then look at this. There's little dies to cut them out. And look at this cute little, like, I don't know, little house. And then here's your little Bethlehem houses. I was like, that? <laughs> Hi, Trisha. Um, I think that this is really super awesome. And there's a couple little plants. And I just thought it was really pretty. You could color them or not color them. Or I think they would look super cute embossed in some kind of metallic. And then, I don't know, I, th I just thought they were so pretty and I was gonna get them on my second order and then something happened and they got on this order. I don't know how it happened, it just did. So anyway, if you like religious stamp sets, so you're gonna love this catalog because there are several. There are several really nice ones and there's one full of beautiful sentiments. I might have to get it anyway. Um, so anyway, great tidings of great joy. I always think of the Charlie Brown though. I think maybe he says that in the Charlie Brown special. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, snowflakes. We always have a new snowflake set. We have one that carried over, and I like it okay, but I like this one a ton better. Merry everything. May your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be white. If they put the lyrics of a Christmas song in their stamp set, um, I am pretty happy. But let's look at the dies. Hi, Amy. <laughs> you guys are late. You'll have to come and watch it from the beginning. Look at all these dies. Oh my goodness. 
snowflake, snowflake, snowflake outline to the stamp plus a little embossing. Remember our um, poinsettia set? Which did carry over, yeah. Yes, I have it on my shelf. You put these two together and you get an embossed snowflake with stitching all around it. All three of those, how cute are those? Totally fun to use. This is gonna emboss your whole little card front or a strip of your card. And then look at a couple more snowflakes and ooh, oh, these are like little edges that'll emboss. Like if you had your snowflake and then you could get super fancy and emboss your paper with those around the edges. I will definitely have to play with that. So the snowflakes, they had to come to me. I really like these snowflakes. I thought they were super cute. So if you like snow, there you go. But the greetings are really nice too. And that big season's greetings, you see that big greeting? That's nice for putting on a card front, making something easy. Or putting on the inside, because then all you gotta do is sign your name. Okay, all those are done. Woo -woo. Okay, now, do I have, I'm gonna go back to Christmas in a second, but I wanna tell you, um, when you get a Stampin' Up! catalog, you gotta look at it multiple times, right? My number one stamp set is this. These squirrels, I flipped, now I had to look at it in a PDF on a computer, right? I flipped through and the number one thing I want is these squirrels, they're so cute. I think they kind of look like Disney squirrels. Um, I like this, hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. My mother-in-law says that all the time. Hey there, nuts about you, happy birthday. I mean, it's super cute. And this is a two-step stamping one. It's photopolymer so you can stamp the outline and then you don't even have to color with markers or anything. You could color it with another stamp. So it's very quick and easy. Although coloring them with stamp and blends, that could be very therapeutic and very fun. So I think that this would be an adorable set. And I think you could use it year round. That little, anybody ever see Ice Age? That little squirrel could totally show up with snowflakes or um, somewhere else. I don't know. I adore it. So I think everybody should order Nuts About Squirrels. I may possibly have to buy this as a prize for um, my catalog launch in August. I may have to. Okay, so fall things. We're gonna go back and forth a little bit. I love these little pretty pumpkins. Let's see if I can get it out of the glare. Nope, you know that light's gonna be there, it's okay. Um, I love pretty pumpkins. This is a red rubber stamp set, so pretty. Good sentiments. Gather together. If friends were pumpkins, I'd pick you. Okay, that's kind of cute. Um, I might have to change that. If husbands were pumpkins, I'd pick you. That would be fun. Um, let's look at the dies. Let's look at the dies. Let's see what we got. Oh, very nice. I like this big fancy. Um, I don't know what you call this one. So it's just a die all by itself. Um, what do we got? We got leaves by themselves. Oh, those are nice pumpkin leaves. And then you have two pumpkins. So this one, oh, it's gonna cut out that one. And then this is just another one that'll cut out itself. And then this cuts out the little trio. I love that little trio of pumpkins. And then you have two dies to cut out those little uh, leafy things. So a nice basic, um, great for all your fall crafting kind of sets. All right, I think it'll go in there. Pretty pumpkins. Did you debate this one, Amy? Ooh, and Lisa says, add a Christmas hat to that squirrel. Yes. I wonder if we, I don't know if there's anything with a little Santa hat. I might have to look. Okay, where are we going? All right, let's go. I'm trying to decide. I got piles all over the place. Let's go back to Christmas for a little bit. Aww. So my traditionalist, here you go. This is the Painted Christmas Suite. I think there, there's something else that comes in this, but um, this is what I bought. Look at these. Look at these. They're little gold leaves. Look, they're sparkly. There we go. I got a little shadow, but they're sparkly. Stick them on with a glue dot, and you have some great accents. They're two sizes. There's a little one. Oh, come on. Separate. A little one and a bigger one. Okay, sparkly gold leaves. They're super cute. They could go on your fall stuff too. They don't have to just stay on your Christmas stuff, even though they're calling them holly leaves. And then this ribbon, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, look. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's more gold on one side and more red. What color is this? Cherry cobbler. It's super soft, it's super sparkly. Oh, I'm gonna need another couple rolls of that. That is some pretty ribbon. 
you're gonna want that ribbon. And then there in this suite, there are two um, stamp sets and two sets of dies. Do you need them all? No, maybe not, but maybe you do. You always, always, always need a new set of pine cones. Ooh, and they're photopolymer. Ooh, and they're, they're um, does it say distinctive on there? I don't know, but it's got, they've got the built-in shading. You don't have to do any work. You just stamp those, look at those cute little hollies. You just stamp those and go. Let's see if there is a die to cut those little holly leaves out and those little berries out. Oh, yes, there's the berries. There's the berries. There's nothing to cut the little holly leaves out. What? Unless I've got the wrong die set. Oh, maybe I do. Hold on, let's look. This one was confusing because there's two die sets and they kind of look like they both, ooh, wow, there's a, ooh, look at that. Okay, so no, this is just an independent die set. You die cut, look, you have the top layer for your pine cones, three, three sets, so two small ones, one big one. And then you have this big giant, oh, and then this goes on top. Oh my goodness, that is gonna be super cool. So you could make a big background and then use these dies to cut out your super awesome, uh, what do you call it, sentiments. I love this. You mix fonts and I'm also super happy. Merry Christmas season's greetings. Look at that cute little Mary. It's like a typewriter Mary. Oh, look at this. I love one where they give you the background built in. So you don't have to emboss. Tis the season. Magic is in the air. May this be a Christmas to remember and cherish. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Oh, love and joy come to you. And may it last the whole year through. Oh my gosh. Okay, you have to have this. Very, it's a nice red rubber. I love red rubber for being able to have a little flexibility on coloring. The pine cones are photopolymer. You can cut out, oh, I see. There's the big pine cone. And there's the little pine cone. There's the holly berries, and there's the other, whatever you call this leafy thing. But there's not one for the um, holly leaves. And then these really nice ones. Okay, I don't know what those little things do. I'm thinking they're, you're making little slots, and then you put your ribbon through or something. I don't know, so someone will have to figure this one out. Because it probably will all wait and find somebody else who figured it out first. All right, let's look at the paper. All right. Let's look at the paper. So very traditional. Wait a minute, what colors are these? Ooh, Calypso Coral's gonna be in here. Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Evening Evergreen, Garden Green, Pear Pizzazz, Real Red, Soft Sea, all your reds and greens. All your reds and greens. If you're doing the Maryland Stampers um, one in August, the one that I'm helping with, August 28th, um, we are gonna use this paper on our, <gasps> on our projects. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? That is really pretty. Very traditional. Okay, this, I've not seen that. I like that a lot. I really wish they had a special thing where you could just order the pages you like. That wouldn't be very nice, but ooh, I like those pine cones. Look at those. And then some nice little leaves, you know, that's very Stampin' Up style. And ooh, I like that one. I like that one too, okay. And I, it's almost like a surprise. I just like to flip it over and be like, what do they have? Let's look. <gasps> I like it. I like it a lot. So the back is kind of more realistic and natural. And look at this pretty colors. Ooh, I like that. This is pretty. Ooh. And these are distressed. See how it has like swirls of color? Very cute. And that's really pretty. I like that. I like the different tones of color. I know some people didn't when they started doing this a couple years ago, but it doesn't bother me. I like it a lot. All right, so that is some pretty paper. Okay, let's see how we're doing. All right, I'm going to show you another Christmas set. I'm going to show you another Christmas set. Um, oh, Trisha says she bets the dies cut something out of that paper. That might be true. We'll have to check it out. So, my super second traditional Christmas set is called um, gingerbread something. Frosted gingerbread, this is a stamp set. We have had this kind of wrenched, ruched ribbon before. I don't know you call it. It's real red, perfect for tying little knots. Paper, craft paper. Um, what else do I have a pile? Oh, I got more piles, okay. There is some other things in this suite, there are the Memories of More cards are in there. They were um, not available yet. Um, I totally will get those. But let's look at the stamp set. 
so it's a photopolymer set. Nice and easy to use. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Sending you peppermint kisses. Happy holidays. You're the icing to my gingerbread. Let's look at the dies. I just thought it was so cute. I would love to make cookies like this, but I don't. It's too much work. Although I do make gingerbread cookies now. Maybe I could get fancy if I can get the icing the right piping. So we have dies that will A, cut out those images, but B, cut out a top layer and you don't have to stamp. So sometimes you wanna make something with just really bold, vibrant colors of just the paper. There you go. Look at these peppermint swirls. Those are so cute. I bet they cut out those little die, the little stamps. Oh, they're circles. Oh, look at this. And you can put your little swirl in there. Hold on, I think that one goes over here. Those are really cute. And there's a little die to cut out those three circles. I like these little swirls. So some red and white paper and you're having a grand old time. Some kind of little fancy border. All right, so very traditional there. There are little pieces. Oh my goodness, they're awesome. They are so awesome. What are, what are they calling these? Acrylic shapes. I was like, they felt different. Okay, so they're not adhesive already. You're gonna have to put some kind of glue. Okay, I don't know what you're doing with those. Look at those little, can you see how tiny those dolls? Maybe in a shaker card or a little dab of glue and you're putting them on your card. Those I feel challenged by, but the little, little bits are really cool. I like these little swirlies. So little um, acrylic, I think that's what I said, acrylic shapes. All right, talked about the ribbon. All right, let's do the fancy paper. I can't help it. I've got to get in this paper. So this one's six by six. So you get four of each one. Basically, it's a 12 by 12 cut in half, uh, cut in four. Oh, but it is not, oh, look at that one. I bet the die cuts that out. And I bet the die, oh no, there's not a tree die. You have to cut that out. The die would cut this out. I am like 99% sure. Is that sure enough? Let's see. Ta-da! So the day you wanna just not stamp, you just use those dies and cut it out of your paper. Which, if you're doing to-go classes, is a great, a great, uh, <laughs> I'm your enabler. I see that, Amy. I am an enabler. And you know what will happen is, so I think I tracked mine to like two orders. This order and one more, right? Of course, I'll have to get more paper as we go. But then I was like, and then you know what's going to happen? Someone is going to make a card of a set that I poo-pooed and said, oh, I don't need that set. And then I'm going to have to buy it at the end. And that really bugs me because I need to be stronger. Or maybe I need to buy it sooner. I don't know. Oh, you could die cut those out. Ooh, lots of die cutting of the images. Lots of, oh, so pretty. Ooh, ooh, look at that, just stripey. Can you see the diagonal stripey one? That one is really cool. Okay, let's flip it over. It's a lot of paper. I feel like I'm a little kid playing cards. Ooh, so pretty. Nope, let's see if you can see that one. Ooh, I like this one. That's what I bet that one die does. It makes that shape. Ooh, and look at this one. That's so cute. I love drawing little squiggles. That's one of my doodle things when I'm like on the phone or in a meeting. All right, very nice paper. You're gonna want that. You're gonna want it all. <laughs> and then this paper is craft paper. We've had craft paper before. I like craft paper. It makes great little boxes. It makes great, it embosses nicely. So it's just nice, nice feel-good craft paper. Speaking of craft paper, somewhere around here I have craft boxes, so uh, I hopefully will find them. And you get 20, 20 little squares of craft paper. Okay, so we got that. It's funny, I'm just piling all the ribbon to the side over here, all the accessories. Okay, let's take a moment and do, oh, here's my craft boxes. This is good, let's do, this is like bonus paper, new paper, some is returning paper. Um, I'm excited about this cork paper. I will open it up and see what it feels like so you guys will know. All right, so this is the little craft boxes I was talking about. So if you want to gift cards as a gift, wow, these are nice. These are super nice. That seems really weird to say these are nice boxes, but they are. Look, and it already comes with the adhesive on it. I mean, I don't even think I have to wait till, till a um, product spotlight for this. Like, legit, you fold it up, 
I'm pretty sure it's food safe. Let's see if it says it on the, the I can, you know, you can feel that feeling. Mm, it doesn't say, I'll have to look it up in the catalog later, but I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure it's food safe. So you could fill it with a couple cookies, but what you're going to do is make cards for your friends. Uh, you're just going to look through your card stash and you're going to make up like an all-purpose card pack or a birthday card pack. I'm not going to put the things on, but seriously, all you do is attach these and you build your box. You don't need glue. You don't need anything fancy. You're going to decorate it up and you're going to gift it away. Yeah, it's super cool. I like them. I like them a lot. Okay. I think I like a lot, a lot, but that's okay. It's good to be passionate about your hobbies and your jobs and love what you do. All right, I just wanna feel this. I wish you could um, feel it through the camera. Hold on, I don't wanna rip it. So Stampin' Up! did send us a little notice. Ooh. Okay, so the back is like that color. This is the front. I think this is, I think it's actual real cork. Cork 12 by 12 specialty paper. So they did say it, there, because it's a natural material, like the measurement, like it may not be exactly 12 by 12, which will about kill me because, yeah. No, that one's pretty close. It's about a, oh, see? It's about an eighth, an eighth uh, short. Um, so it might, so when you're measuring or cutting, um, and I'm going to do a paper share. So when I do a paper share, I just buy all the paper and I cut it in a quarter. And then I bag it up in cute little bags and I make my husband go on the computer and make me fancy, well, they're not fancy, make me labels. Um, and then I send it to you. So I just have to figure out how much all the paper costs and then divide it by four. And I will do a paper share and I'll start posting about it. And you have to prepay, because of course I have to order a lot of paper, um, depending on how many people order. And then um, I will order it on the third when this catalog goes live and then I will pack it all up. It takes, it takes about a, two weeks to get to me. Give me a week to do it. So it'll be towards the end of August. But if you want to get all the paper and you don't want to have to buy it all in big, let me know. All right. We have metallic brushed cardstock. I'm pretty sure this was the returning. Ooh, Randy says it's going to die cut nicely, that cork. It's really pretty. I like this pack. I'm glad they kept this paper. Three shades of metal in your copper and gold section. And then we have new, the one underneath this, ooh, I'm like just ripping bags like there's no tomorrow, is silver. And I think there's three shades of silver. So we're gonna open that up and see. So your fancy paper, you can use it as bases on your cards, but if you do die cut something out of the middle so that you get a second you know, wind out of that paper. Um, you can also, I tend to just, use it a lot for for like little embellishments on the sides. Um, ooh, that's so pretty. Oh, so there's one, one sheet of each on this. Look at that. So this is a really dark silver. This is kind of a rosy silver, and this one's super shiny bright silver. It has a kind of a funny smell. So I don't know, let it air out maybe. Only use a little bit, but then you get one sheet of each on the silver. Holiday crafting is when you need your special papers. It really is. And what is this? This is red and green foil. So we had this last year. So maybe you still have some. Or if you didn't, if you weren't using Stampin' Up! products last year, you can use them this year. Whoa, I love this red. I do. It's great for that poinsettia set we have that carried over in the annual holiday catalog. Oh, so traditional. So pretty. Mm. I could, it's so weird. I had it last year, but I kind of feel like I need to hug this one. Okay. Now, all right, we got one-ish, one-ish more Christmas set. Oh, this one's so cute. So this is the Sweet Little Stockings um, bundle. Sweet, I guess they call it a sweet. Look at these cute little guys. Look at them, they're so cute. There's oh, this kind of dog, this kind of cat, and I don't know what that is. A guinea pig, maybe? <gasps> There's a hat! Look, a, a Christmas hat. What about putting that Christmas hat on the little squirrel? Oh yeah, I think it's gonna fit perfectly. Um, nice uh, Santa Paws is coming to town. Little presents. It is a photopolymer. It's gonna be great to color or to die cut out of your designer series paper. 
you can do it in different colors. I think there's a sample in the catalog where they cut it out. I don't have this one paper to show you because it's on my second dairy list. Um, it's all grays and white, this paper, and they die cut out the cute little stockings. It's very, very cute. And there's this, this was neat. This is just like a big tag or label or pennant that you could use. Look at that, that little hat. And what in the heck is this? Oh, that's the cat's face. And then this is a dog's face, and this is the guinea pig's face. I don't know what these little pieces... Oh, this is the top of a stocking. Oh, and that's the, the toe. That is the toe of a stocking. Okay, and then your presents. It's very cute. Very, very cute. And <laughs> if you said, what is your most surprised thing that you love from the holiday catalog? Right here. And this is... It's not a holiday... I mean, they're the little matte decorative dots. You know, they're just like my favorite black matte dots, but they are matte dots in other colors. So what colors are they? I don't know. It's going to match the paper so we can find out. Maybe it's Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, that Old Olive. This is Old Olive. And then this is Evening Evergreen. But they're ombre. Look at them. They go from dark to light but they're just like the matte black dots um so anyway this is this is my most favorite ex what do you call this embellishment at this moment I opened it and I was like ooh. although the other one I meant to show you a second ago and I forgot um I like it too all right I gotta put this here and then there is this beautiful ribbon I think it's pool party yeah pool party little stripey ribbon so I think I like that they, this is kind of a different color palette. So let's, let's go, let's look at the paper. Oh, wait, before we look at the paper, we had felt last year, different colors. So we have felt this year and I think it is fun to, could you imagine die cutting these little stockings out in felt? How cute they are going to be. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't stamp it. I would just die cut them out and oh, you could make a little tiny. Now I wouldn't go full out on your, ooh, on your banner. You could have little felt stockings. They would be really cute. So we have it in gold, white. So that's bumblebee. I know I said gold. Bumblebee. Uh, cherry cobbler and old olive. Oh, it's super cute. Oh, now I want to die cut some stockings out. Okay, but I can't. It's okay. Let's move that out of the way. All right, and then let's look at the paper. Okay, so the paper. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice this little mouse. Look at this. Can you see the mouse? Let's see. Look, it's a little mouse, and he's carrying a um, little present. Oh, and that cute lab. You know, the only thing that makes this better is if it had a white poodle in it, but there's no white poodle, I don't think. If, if there's a white poodle, I will probably fall down and be super, super happy. Oh, because there's lots of dogs in the stockings. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Look at all those dogs and cats and a mouse. Oh, I love that mouse. He's adorable, or she. I love little mice. And the little guinea pig is in there. There's two dogs. There's a grumpy cat. Is there a happy cat? Oh, there's three dogs. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, oh, there's two cats at least. There's a black and white cat. All right, so there's some fun cats and dogs in stockings. Oh, they have Stampin' Art artists though. They are pretty good. Oh, look at this one. Oh, there's a grumpy cat. Oh, and there's a parakeet. So those people with birds. And there's another dog. And they've got their little uh, Christmas decorations on them. You're gonna want this paper, I think. All my pet lovers are gonna want it. Okay, here's your stockings. Pretty sure you could die cut those out, but we'll explore that another day. Oh, they have this. One of my Stampin' Friends on Facebook, she got one of these dogs. I don't know, is it a corgi or something? And there's a little fish, and there is a cute little black and white cat. Oh, so cute. I love that little corgi guy. I don't know, they're kind of weird looking dogs, I think, but they are really pretty. And then, oh my goodness, Christmas ornaments. They're, I'm not ornaments, Christmas lights. Those are really pretty. All right, and then let's be surprised. So this side has printed, so usually the second side is like patterns and stripes and stuff. Oh my goodness, it is, and it's absolutely beautiful. I will be, so sometimes you're thinking on a card, you know, all this dog cat stuff is too much, even though I adore it. How much more do I adore using these stripes? Probably a lot. And when I send you a card packet, you might be a little conflicted about which side to put up. Stars. Ooh. We have a sweater um, stamp 
and some kind of die. I don't know that I'm going to get it, but it is really cool looking. But it kind of that's what reminds me of this. So very nice paper, very nice paper. Okay. Well, I got to finish up soon. My husband's going to go get us. We got a new Chipotle opened up, and he was going to go get us lunch. He has today off, and I'm like, man, I have to work like most of this day. Okay. So here's what I forgot. I forgot to order the DSP that goes to this. It's a fall paper, and there's a stamp set. But I, I don't know that I want it because I want to get the one that goes with the um, Blackberry thing. But look at these. These are shiny, brushed metallic adhesive dots. And you have them in gold, copper, I don't know, greenish silver. They're really pretty. I like those. I, I'm a fan of little dots. Put three to five dots on any card and it's beautiful. And this ribbon for fall cards. Oh, this is nice. I'm assuming it's very vanilla. It doesn't say. Oh, it's 100% cotton. So it's a nice little woven ribbon. So I like that too. Okay, and now, and now, okay, so now I'm gonna show you, cause sometimes people are like, oh, I don't have a die cutting machine. And Stampin' Up! was like, no worries. I've got you. I have got you with some stamp and punch bundles. Yes! <sighs> All right, so I, I, I like them both a lot. Look at these cute little penguins. You can make this penguin's feet, depending on how you put him, he can be sitting, or you flip the feet the other way and he's standing. This little guy is, he's always on his belly. Lots of fun, little printed. It's like a little, except a lot. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Be cool, be chill, be merry. Oh, I get it, I like you a lot all. It's like a little, except a lot. To the coolest friend ever, lots of thanks, happy birthday. It should be, yeah, it's photopolymer. So easy to use. You even got the little swooshy thing. You got their little eyes and noses and things. And you can punch them out. What is this shape? Anybody? That's, oh, oh, I got it. Look, oh my gosh. Hold on, we're punching this. We're punching it right now. You can make a penguin and you don't even have to stamp it. You can make super cute black and white penguins or pink and blue penguins. I don't care what color penguins. Hold on. Black paper, white paper. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I'm actually super excited. I love our whale one that you can stamp or just punch. And I think it's awesome when it can do both because some days you wanna stamp it and color it or do something. And some days, look at that. Look at him. Okay, we need some orange. Oh, can I reach the orange? Oh, I think I can reach a piece of orange. Cause I gotta go around all my other stuff. Look at that. Okay, you gotta stamp his eyes or you gotta get out your whale punch and punch your eyes. And we need two feet. Okay, I totally wasn't gonna use anything. I was like, I'm just gonna show them the stuff. I'm gonna make him. How would you make him stand up? Ah, he would go like this. I don't know, he's gonna sit down. We'll have to play. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, Randy, I got it. Look at that, I figured it out, I'm pretty excited. How cute is that penguin? Look at that, oh my gosh. If you have like those medium age kids, you could have the most fun ever making a whole bunch of penguins. You could make a penguin little banner, like just not a big fancy banner, but like little teeny flags and little tiny penguins. Little, some are diving, some are sitting. Oh my gosh, you could totally do it. He just needs eyes, and you know what? If you don't even want to stamp, you take your stamp and write marker or your stamp and blend marker and you just, oops, that's the wrong side. I would have used the other side. And you give them some eyes and then, let me flip it over. You give them a smile. Okay, he looks a little creepy with a smile, but he's super cute. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, see, now this is the problem. I wanna play with it all day, but you can't, cause you gotta do, well, I'm gonna play a little. I gotta come up with a swap. I'm gonna do a fancy swap. Um, well, it's not super fancy, but a nice swap. And so I'll have a lot of samples to share with you. All right, and then super high on my list was this Peaceful Deer set. Peaceful Deer is super cute. <sighs> okay, I gotta show you this up close, look. So this one says, oh, what fun. These little deer, look at that, and look at the bunny. You can color these. What one does it punch out? It punches out this one or this one. 
because these are shown at 80%. And look at these trees. These are nice trees. So if you don't have a lot of supplies, you need to get this bundle. And then, wait, there's more. I don't know how much this bundle costs, but I bet it's $35, we'll say. We're just guessing, because it's photopolymer. Maybe it's $30. You gotta pick out some other paper to go with it. And if you need help, I will help you. And then, for free, for free, you get from the Celebration brochure, Peaceful Prints Designer Series paper. And don't worry, I know there's penguin paper. I will show you in a second, I totally forgot. Look at that. So you could have a red um, plaid deer. Ooh, I can tell it's gonna be red on the other side because the very edges is this red. Oh, look at that. You have your forest or whatever, your aspen trees. That's my color fat. Ooh, and look at this. Oh, that's so awesome. I have a pair of leggings that are like this and they were you could get them either with a strip down the side with snowflakes or you could get them without the snowflakes. I got them without, but it was very cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this designer series paper, my friends, why did Stampin' Up do this to me? Why? Well, it's free. Free is good. All right, and I don't even know what the other side is gonna look like. Ooh, ooh, there's one more there. Look at that. Little jumping deer. Okay, are you ready? I'm so excited. I am very excited. This is what my leggings look like. And look at this. Buffalo plaid, kinda, ooh, stripies. Green, what's that green one? Little things, and this one. So, you order this, we get some coordinating cardstock, and you just go to town. Get an ink, and you are good to go. All right, so if you didn't like the deer, you do the same thing with the penguins. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have such a mess to clean up when this is over, because I forgot to tell you that there's matching coordinating penguin paper for free, for free. Oh, and they picked the pretty colors. Okay, look, look at that cute little fox. That fox is adorable, super adorable. And a little happy penguin dancing and a polar bear. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh, I bet you can punch him out. Look, take this off, his little eyes. Look at that, you can punch that out. Okay, and I gotta flip this over because those eyes are bugging me. Um, you can totally punch that out. And then you could cut out this little bear and the little fox. Oh my goodness, so cute. And you know what? You could also just cut it out with scissors. That does also work very well. Oh my gosh, the fox. Okay, why didn't they make that fox? Why, you know, what's up with that? And we have a polar bear set. It's on my um, round two uh, list, but it's a traditional polar bear. It's not like a cartoony one. Oh my gosh, look at those guys. They're so cute. I'm afraid to see what's on the other side. This is kind of like the dog paper, right? Some artists had a grand old time drawing these cute little animals with scarves on them. Look, the polar bear and the penguin are making a snowman. And the little bird is bringing a hat. I mean, how much cuter can you get than that? That is super cute. And the fox is just watching. And the bunny. All right, you ready? Let's go. <gasps> Dang it, Stampin' Up. Dang it. This is a good dang it. This is paper. Look at it all. We are making beautiful, we are making beautiful Christmas cards. But look, couldn't that go on a baby card? 100%. These little stripes on a baby card. Any of this, birthday card, baby card. So if you're not a big Christmas crafter, the free paper can still be awesome for you. I'm just going to hug this paper. It's just mine. You can't have it. No, actually, you can't have it. You should have it. Okay. Oh, my Oh my goodness. Mm, okay. What's left? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I bought a lot in round one. Hopefully, hopefully my bank account will be okay. Um, you guys should shop. Shop from me and let me earn some commission. Uh, buy a class. Oh, my gosh. Do you see all this stuff? Okay, so I think there are three total, three full Halloween sets. Okay, I think there's three. I just bought one, I will buy two. The other one I'm gonna get is a stamp set and dies, but it's on round two. Um, this one has a punch. At first I was like, what is that thing? It's the little ghosty, and there's a pumpkin, and then there is a little cat. Okay, so there's a punch. Super cute photopolymer stamp set. Two-step stamping, so you can, okay, why didn't they make the skull? I like the skull, I think it's funny, I think it's cute trick or treat but you know what I had to get this so anyone with a peloton if you have ridden uh, a Cody Rigsby ride he's I now say boo 
I say, hey, Boo. I called my nephew Boo all last summer, and he was like, I'm your Boo? And I'm like, yes, you are. Um, it's super cute. I had to buy it because it said, hey, Boo. And look at that cute little candy corn. You put a smile on my face. Have a fabulous Halloween. Treat yourself. Oh, treat yourself. Super cute. There are little boxes. Little boxes. Oh, my gosh. I know this video is long, but you need a whole video. And I know there will be longer ones, so enjoy. What in the... Oh, my gosh. It's so... Okay, Stampin' Up! is getting smarter. Basically, they're saying, we know you like to craft, but maybe sometimes you don't want to craft all the things on your own. My friends. My friends. It has the 3M adhesive on it. So that is the base, I guess. I'm not going to stick it together. And then there's got to be a lid. Let's see. All right. Apparently, you got to take them all out of the thing. Or are they all the same? Oh, they are. So the lid and the base are the same. Super easy, self-adhesive. Although you could totally... And you make, okay, you know it's not going to go together because I didn't hit. You make a little coffin box. Definitely candy ready, except for that I'm touching it a lot. Okay, those are super cute. We talked about this. Fun stars. Orange, purpley, and black. Those are the official colors. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This is going to be on some holiday cards with craft paper and traditional red and white for me. <gasps> And it's so soft. Okay, I will be ordering like buckets of this. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, in, in, it's beautiful. And then, cute little holiday, um, wait, it's holiday, but Halloween paper. Ooh, I like that with the dots. I will tell you what the colors are. Oh my gosh, there are bats. And they're hanging upside down bats. Oh my gosh, they're super cute. Look at that. Little distress black and orange. Look, see, that's what I mean. Look at this little skull head. Isn't he adorable? Why is the skull head adorable? I don't know. Spooky houses on that green. Ooh, I'm intrigued. What color green is that? <gasps> little teeny, teeny stripes. I don't know. I'm seeing baby cards in all of the fun stripes and fun colors. All right, let's look. <gasps> it's all black and white and gray on the back. Hold on, I gotta move this. Look at that. There's your little ghosties. There's your stripes. Ooh, I can't see this one. What is this one? Ooh, that one has got some nice polka dots. Ooh, just black. I like it. Distress back. <gasps> and distress stripies and boo. Boo, boo, boo. Okay. Your colors are flirty flamingo, highland heather, old olive, and pumpkin pie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's like, what do you craft first? I will definitely make at least something today. All right. And then I'm going to finish you up with the rest of my free stuff. Celebration. So the celebration, I think they did a good job. A lot of it is holiday and coordinates, but a lot of it isn't holiday. So our friends um, that don't want a bunch of holiday stuff, it's okay. Look at this. Textures and frames. Super cute. It is photopolymer. I like this one. Delicate dahlias. Look at that. This is, um, it looks like super real. I wonder if you can stamp that on top of that. I think this one is with a hundred dollar purchase because, um, oh, look at that. Because it's a two, basically two stamp sets together. Oh, so happy for you. Thank, thank you kindly. Sending heartfelt sympathy. You inspire me. That is a nice stamp set. And look at that pretty flower. Oh, I bet that stamps right on. Yep. They are. They've got a stamp right on top. Um, we'll do that one last. Feels like home. This one's really cute. Very traditional red rubber. It's a pretty scene. You could just stamp that. You could color it or not color it. <laughs> all right, all my farm animal lovers, you know, we've we've hit all the, we've had cows, we've had chickens. Um, oh, yeah, I hopefully, Arlene, hopefully you get that, um, that ribbon. It's, that ribbon is beautiful. I think I saw, you know, all the people that earn a trip. One day I will earn a trip. I'm going on one of those trips. Anyway, they do get some of this holiday stuff, and they only share a little because if you share it too soon, because um, you can't buy it till August 3rd if you're not a demonstrator, and even if you're a demonstrator, you can only buy so much. We can only get one stamp set, which I only need one. Um, you could only get 
oh, I should have got an extra roll of ribbon. You could get two ribbons, two papers, that kind of thing. Um, so, but I think I saw Patty Bennett said that that black ribbon, black and white checked ribbon was her favorite. Okay, but anyway, talking about my farm lovers, there's a sheep and there are sheep dyes. And I think it's super cool that there's a fence. Let's see. Because you could, yeah, look at that cute basic fence. You could use that for anything. What if you put that fence and then some kind of flowers? It could be any kind of seasonal flowers. You could make a cute card. I like the sun. I like the clouds, the balloon. So these are fun little dies. And of course, you can die cut out your sheep. I don't know that I'm in love with the sheep, but I'm in love with these uh, bonus pieces in the dies. All right. I mean, this one's kind of cute. This one scares me just a little. If you like that one, it's okay. But he's looking like right at me and he's like, mom, what are you doing? Um, anyway, super cute. Uh, with, so if you spend a hundred dollars, you can get both of these. They're 50, they're um, free with each 50. This paper surprised me. It is awesome. I was like, Oh, who needs some more gold sparkly paper? Don't I have some in my stash? Um, apparently you need this gold sparkly paper. It's all the same, but like, it's a different texture of sparkle. Let's see. Let's see if I can make it be shiny. Look at that. They're like little circles. So it's not glitter. I don't know what it is. I don't think I've ever seen one like this. I opened it up and I was pretty amazed. And it has a nice backing. It's very thick. Um, I'm going to get a lot of it for free. So I don't feel worried when I'm making lots of cards with it. It's very, very cool. Ooh, so sparkly. Okay. And then last one. Oh, yeah. Let's do the paper. And then I'll talk about that last stamp set. All right, and then last one. This is free paper. It's all, oh, stamp it up, I love you. It's all in black and white. You could color it. You know you can like, it's it's the world is your canvas with stamping up black and white paper. You just use your brush or um, your markers. So it looks like there's four sheets of each one. Is there only three? Let me see. Okay, so it looks like, one, two, three, four. Okay, so four sheets of each one. I don't even know what's on the back. You know, it's a big surprise. Oh, so that was your black sides and this is your white sides. You gotta love white with some little random polka dots. You could color those. So this is, I think it's kind of, um, I think it's hand penned. Let's look. Beautifully penned. So I think it coordinates with that hand pen because I just was using that DSP. So I saw that recently. And then very, very last, if you spend something. I think you should have a, an online Facebook party and I will help you out. And I don't know where the brochure is, but I think it's if you spend $300 on an order, you get this stamp set for free, which is just full of inspirational. Um, oh, your birthday came, your birthday went, here's the card I should have sent. I will be stamping that on the inside of a lot of cards. Um, so it's just a nice little in your words. I think the Stampin' Up! demos contributed, and then they picked um, from those. All right, let me see if I can do this right, where I can talk to you again. I did it! I'm so excited. And I did, okay, I was going to do this in 45 minutes. Apparently, it took 58 minutes to tell you all about uh, my Stampin' Up! pre-order. I hope that I helped you make your list. If you're watching this later, it's actually probably better that you weren't watching it live because you can like just think about it and write things down. Um, I will have catalogs ready um, probably by the end of next week because I have the painter coming and I have already tucked the box. The I had two boxes. The top one was just catalogs. I've already tucked that box away because I have a lot of stuff um, to work on. And I also don't want you to get bored with the stuff because you can't buy it yet. It starts on August 3rd. Um, I hope that this is a great resource for you. I will, over the course of the next month, do product spotlights and I will go more in depth into the sweets and into the stamp sets and the dies. That way, when August 3rd comes and you're ready to order, if you're a customer, now if you're a demo, of course, pre-order whenever you want. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I made you spend more money than you intended. Um, but for customers, I'm gonna, I wanna really help you have a good resource and you can look back at it and um, you know, we'll just explore, sorry, my ear is like super itchy. We'll explore the, the products together over the course of the next month. If you need something, um, let me know. Um, I'm still going to do my DSP week plus live tonight, Friday at five. Um, so come on back. I saw a couple cute little boxes we're going to make with a designer series paper. 
So I'll give you another resource for that because our designer series paper, not all this pretty paper, but the one in the annual, there are nine kinds on sale. But that's all I want to talk about because I just wanted to finish this up. And here we are, 5946, one hour of Audra and her excitement over the July to December 2021 mini catalog slash holiday catalog. So stay crafty, my friends, and I will see you next time.